Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I am here today with set number 21200, Life of George. This is the original box that um, introduced Life of George, because I didn't want to confuse this with the second box, which was made roughly a year later. This was a somewhat of a toy, but also in ties in with an app game, which you can download from the App Store um, for free. And basically, this is the starter box, and this shows you how to play the game. Um, gives you all the contents that you need, except for the iPhone and the app. This was released in 2011, had 144 pieces, ages 14 and up, and was originally, the original price for this, at the time, was $30. It has then dropped to about $19.98, as you see it printed on there, and it's even dropped further now on brown clearance at Toys R Us, this is now retailing for $7.99. If you can get it around this time right now, I would suggest that you pick it up. Even if you're not interested in the game, it's a good way to get a lot of pieces for a small price. Price per piece value on this, not including the other accessories, with 144 pieces at $30, it's not a great price per piece. It's roughly giving it $0.20 cents per piece, maybe a little bit less but roughly about that much. But at $8, it's giving you about $0.05 cents per piece. It's an excellent value. Even though they're all basic bricks, it's still good to get them really, really cheap. So, as we look around at the box, you can see <clears throat> the colorful design of Life of George. We have our character George shown on the box, and some of the designs that you could build with this set. Lego bricks for iPhone. It's not any different than regular Lego bricks. Just to point that out, they are the same exact ones that you would find in your own collection, so you could use those. But there are some things to this box that you do need when playing the Life of George game. We'll go more into those details in a little bit. On the side, you can see in some more characters you can build. And it says available in the App Store for iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation as of the time of this product's release. It shows you on the back how to basically go about, you know installing it and getting the game to work. On the other side we just have most of the um, the labels in a different language. It opens up in an interesting style where it just has a top open and it has two small pieces of tape on either side so it's not too hard to open but also makes it too easy because I've seen a lot of times in the stores these are sometimes opened up and you could actually look inside the box and see the contents. Now, most of the contents I've actually removed from here, but I still have this little piece of paper in here that shows you getting started. Basically, it tells you to visit the App Store, download the app, and go play the game. It's powered by iQ, which is the, I'm assuming it's the developer of the app that worked with LEGO to make this happen. We'll take a closer look at the contents now. So here we have some of the other contents in the box. The first one you can see is a small sticker of George. You could easily just apply this wherever you want to. And it actually has it in a cutout brick shape around him. So it's easy to fit onto surfaces. And it's also marked as 2011. I'm not actually sure what I would use it for, but it is a nice little thing to get in this box. The next thing, this is the important thing if you want to play the Life of George app or Build Your Brain, which is also a similar Life of George app from the App Store, also free. This is your placemat for which you put on the bricks. Now, as far as the gameplay, you have to, um, you, you have all these different boxes that show you different regions or different themes, um, and, you know, like Pirates, um, New York, Japan, Hawaii... Um, shopping, farm, all these different kinds of areas you can go to in the Life of George app. And they'll show you a scrapbook. So each scrapbook will have about 10 different challenges that are randomly chosen by this for when you um, access them. So you click on one and sometimes it will appear similar to but not the exactly the same as other ones. Depends whether or not you complete it. But basically it's random. You could get them in any order, and it's not the same thing every time. Um, so, you click on one, it shows you the model to build, and it has a timer going. 
the timer is how long for you to build this model, put it on the placemat, and then take a photo of it with your iPhone or iOS device. The key of the game is to build it accurately to the model that is shown on the screen and to build it within the shortest amount of time. That's where you'll get the most amount of points and stars. Um, it'll also tell you on the bottom of the results page what your accuracy is and what the time is for you to build the model. Now, um, the, th the key component for this to work, you could obviously use your own LEGO collection when it comes to building the parts, um, but this, this is the thing that you most need when it comes to the Life of a George app. This is going to allow the, I the iOS device to take a picture or scan what you built on top of it. So you build your model, you put it on top, and then you hold it against it to get it um, to focus on what you built. That way, the, that way the app can identify what you built by... Uh, and I'm not exactly sure of the technical stuff, but basically it has to do with those dots behind the behind the screen, and um, it'll sh it'll try to determine how well you did. Now it is a key thing to note: this is the top portion, so when you're taking the picture, that should always be on top, so that way it can recognize um, what you've built. And it also has a Lego logo in the bottom corner. It also has a couple colors on both on either side of it. There's nothing really on the back, just this little number, but I'm not sure what that means. There's also one more thing to this that probably people are most attracted to, especially with the clearance price, the pieces. We have two bags that include all the pieces, and one is larger, one is smaller, depending on the size of the pieces. You can also check on my channel Purple 9 to see more about the unboxing. Um, and some of the gameplay of the app. I do apologize, and maybe a little bit um, lacking in quality, but I still try to get through playing the game and show it on camera. I've taken the courtesy of laying out the entire selection of pieces on a 16 by 32 base plate. This base plate is not included with the set, I would like to remind you, but here is the full collection of the pieces you get in the Life of George box. <coughs> As I mentioned before, there are 144 pieces. There are six different colors that you can have, depending on what you're building. You have black, yellow, blue, white, red, and green. These are all basic bricks, and they are all 1 by X. So you're not going to see any of these bricks that are 2 by X, um, because the models are not intended to be three-dimensional. 1 by X would be enough for the app to recognize what you've built. As far as how many of each piece we get, for every color they are the same exact amount of pieces and the same shape of pieces. For the 1 by 4s, uh, right, put right in the center, we have 4 per color, which is a total of about 24 1 by 4 pieces in all the different colors. For the 1 by 6s, you have two per color, and that would obviously be 12. For the 1x3s, you have four of each color, again 24. And then these are 1x2s, I just stacked them behind each other to create enough space, and sorry about that. We have eight per color, which would bring us to about 48. And then for the 1x1s, I actually like how we get a lot of 1x1s, we have six per color. That leads us to 36. All those numbers added together will create 144. It's a lot of basic bricks. There's nothing entirely interesting about this, but when you play the app, you actually have a lot of fun with it. Personally, I've had a lot of fun building all the different kinds of models that they've had, and I still have more of the game to go through. But I've gone through a lot of it so far, and they're very creative models, they're very colorful models, they're very unique. They don't even tell you how difficult the model is. It's all up to how well you can build it. It's a lot to do with... It's very random, like I said before. So, you could get a hard model to start off, and then you get an easier model later on. Or, you could have the reverse happen. So, it's very nice for it being random like that, and it also reminds me of those building challenges that they sometimes have at LEGO events, 
sometimes at Lego stores. I know there's some that are going to be coming up in a little later this year, I think in June. Um, there's a building event at the Lego stores where you have to try to build a model as fast as you can and as accurate as you can. So this is kind of going along the same principle and it's made in an app so you can do it at home, you can test yourself, and you can try to do it against your friends. The Life of George app works really well with all of this technology. However, sometimes it will have faults with the camera um, because it may not line up the picture accurately. Um, sometimes you have to be sure that you don't get an, any glare from the camera in the way because when it takes a picture, it has, at least for an, I an iPhone, it will have a flashlight turn on when it's trying to um, take the picture of it and scan it. So you have to be sure it doesn't get in the way of the model that you built so that you can get it accurately um, scanned. Also, the it'll sometimes have a problem with loading, but it's not too long of a wait. Mostly the camera function, it, it can be a little dicey, but most of the time it works. For the Build Your Brain app, this is a separate Life of George app, which is also free from the Apple Store. Um, this app works with the same sort of idea with the pieces, but in a different way. This one allows you to scroll through, basically like turning a wheel, like on a game show, and it has a whole bunch of different categories. The categories will all have you build something, but in different ways. One of them that I remember most is... Um, you have to build a certain shape of a model with certain colors and then build that multiple times with different colors. Like, it'll tell you to build it from red, blue, green, and yellow and of a certain shape. Then you have to stack all those on top of each other just as it shows you on the picture. So that's kind of interesting and that, personally, <laughs> personally, that mini game is a little bit hard for me to, to get it right. Um, but for most of the other ones, they work out well. There's a bonus one that I've found where it shows you a model to build, and you have to build it as fast as you can, as always, and as accurate as possible, but it has a water, like, rising through the image, so you can only see so much of it at a time, and eventually it'll just get rid of the whole image. You still can build after that point, but you have to try to remember what it was supposed to look like. So it's a very challenging concept, and I think it's actually a very fun one. It's something I'm definitely into now, and even just for the pieces, getting them at a good value, you know, of $8 now. Uh, just wanted to stress that so you don't miss out on the deal. Um, even if they're basic bricks, remember guys, there's a lot that you can do even with your basic bricks. As some of you may have seen on Instagram and Flickr and other sites, I post a bunch of mosaics. Whether or not I made them, they are still made with these kinds of bricks and they look fantastic. Sometimes they're very accurate to the model they're supposed to represent, or sometimes they create something brand new, but looks very appealing. So there's a lot that you can do with this app, um, whether or not you play the actual game, or you just, you know, because you just want the pieces, or you could have the game and play either Build Your Brain or Life of George. Um, it's still a lot of fun, and I highly recommend it if you are willing to buy this. And again, for the discounted price, you probably would be more willing to buy it. $30, it wouldn't be worth it, but $8 seems reasonable for the kind of content that you get in here. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to comment below if you've played the app, if you've enjoyed it yourself. I apologize that I can't have any app play in the review because I don't have the means to do that right now. But... I hope you enjoyed the review anyways. Thumbs down or thumbs up if you enjoyed it or disliked it in some capacity. I appreciate your feedback. And I um, be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for more LEGO stuff later on. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later.